Hey guys, Working Man's Reads here, back with a review of Pete Dexter's Deadwood. And I had my book club meeting today. They were all slightly jealous that I had the hardcover and the mustache on the back. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet for the people that just want to not listen to me talk and go out and check it out for yourself. Five star read. I've never read a Western. This is an awesome place to start. It is a dramatic, horrifying look at the West. It will leave you stunned at points. It will leave you laughing at points. It will leave you heartbroken at points. It is amazing. And I guess there was a TV show done about it, and it doesn't follow the novel at all, but it is almost a historical fiction novel, but fiction. Like, but he follows it to the T, the history of it, and every character in this novel is a real person and the actions that happened are based on true facts. There's only one character and his name's Malcolm that was not a real person. And he was introduced, I believe, for more of a, um, to drive like a little bit of tension, uh, especially towards the end. So he is an important character, but he's not, he's not real, so. You follow different characters along the way. There's multiple parts in this novel. The beginning, you follow Bill, and you follow a wagon train with all the other characters, and they're on their way to Deadwood. I won't spoil anything in this, but if you want to just go check it out for yourself, go get this book. So, the synopsis quickly. Not No spoilers here, but you follow them. They get to Deadwood, and Bill is a almost an aging gunfighter. So you see a different side of Bill as you're being as the story is being told to you than the other people in the story see of Bill. So you see an aging gunslinger. Everybody else respects him. They think that he can't be killed. They think that he's unstoppable. But as the narrator tells the story, you do see that he's starting to lose his vision because he has an STD and he's not able to basically function at all as his, as his spirit and everything is declining. So I've never seen that side of things because you always see the gunfighter as this unstoppable force, like in the magpie coffin, for instance, that I'm reading right now, he's unstoppable the guy in there and he's just killing everybody beep bop you know bang bang shoot shoot but in the old wild west in the actual wild west you live by the gun you die by the gun and and that is foreshadowed to you in the beginning of the book i won't say anything else about that but you start to follow other characters and you the four or five chapters after the introduction are all about other characters and their viewpoints of Deadwood. So you follow Charlie, you follow a person called the China Doll. There's a lot of racism towards Chinese people at that time. And there's they have almost a Chinatown in Deadwood where you if you go there, you're looked down upon and things like that. And it's almost like a ghetto. I've never seen that. I didn't know that about that history. And uh, I'd say my favorite characters were probably Calamity Jane and Charlie. Um, Charlie, oh my gosh, what's his last name? Why am I uh, losing my mind here? Charlie Utter. And uh, I, I really got attached to these characters. I'd say that the driving narrative in this novel is the character work. It's not so much the plot as much as it is the the characters and the town becoming a character which is an amazing thing that i haven't really seen before this this setting that pete writes like i know him <laughs> but the, what he writes the setting as you almost feel like this town has a personality of its own which is amazing i, I like i said if you want to just go check this out five out of five I loved it. There's a lot of dark subject matters in here, some some trigger warnings I will let you guys know. So there's racism, there's rape, there's murder, but there's also cool things to see like gold mining and gambling and there's some heavy drinking and partying and having fun and, 
and uh, you see buddy like like people befriending each other you see relationships build like Charlie and and uh, Jane and how he looks after her but really she's a strong female character even though she's a little kooky and crazy but she I want to learn more about her I'm gonna be looking up a lot of stuff about her but she takes care of everyone in this town she takes care of the the group of people and I feel that she really was very pivotal for that town at that time and that's really cool to see so please go check this out keep it short and sweet I have so many thoughts about it if you guys ever do read this please reach out to me let's talk about it because this was a lot of fun and and it's gonna drive me into possibly reading some more um, Western novels and and that's that's a beautiful thing when you find a book like that so I don't want to get into the other parts because really you run the risk of really spoiling this book because of the fact that there's so many shocking revelations throughout the book where like you get through the introduction and you're just left dumbfounded and things just go from there little little wildfires along the way and it's like nothing I've ever read before it was a blast the last I'd say 75% of the book went by so fast I really had to take my time with it because I wanted to have concise thoughts about it and and that's a great thing when you read a book like that and now I now I finished it and I'm like well where do I go from here so <laughs> I'm glad I could check in with you guys today peace out have a great one get outside enjoy the weather cheers if you made it this long thank you to my subscribers Thank you to the comments. You guys showed me so much love on the last book, or the last video I made. I'm going to have a couple tag videos coming down the line, I think, this week. And I am also going to finish another book probably in the next couple days. So, hope everybody stays well. Stay safe out there. I know there's a lot of craziness going on. And uh, spread some love, give some hugs, and uh, share some drinks. Bye.